In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS transitions to improve the way certain styles respond to user interaction. When you hover over a link or any other element, any styles defined by the Hover Pseudo class are applied instantly. Using transitions allows you to animate the change from one state to the other in a smooth manner. This is particularly useful in combination with the transform property. For example, if you scale an image using transform on its own, the image jumps instantly from one size to the other. By adding a transition, you can zoom the image smoothly in and out. You define a transition using the following properties. Transition property determines which other CSS properties are affected by the transition. Transition duration sets the duration of the transition from one state to the other. Normally it's set in seconds. Transition timing function takes a keyword that describes how the transition progresses. I'll explain the keywords in a moment. Transition delay allows you to set a delay before the transition begins. And transition shorthand just combines all these properties together. The transition timing function takes one of these keywords. Ease means that the transition starts slow, speeds up, and then slows down again at the end. Linear means the transition should be even throughout. Ease in starts slow, speeds up, and maintains the same pace to the end. Ease out maintains a steady pace from the start, but slows down at the end. Ease in out is similar to ease, but the slower pace at the start and end is more pronounced. Cubic Bezier takes four comma-separated numbers specifying the points of the Bezier curve used to calculate the easing. Unless you're a mathematic whiz kid who knows how to specify the points of a Bezier curve, you'll probably never use this final option. Right, let's put CSS transitions into action. In this page, I've applied the transform property to scale the images when they're hovered over. So if we just look at it in, in live view, you see that what happens is when I hover over that image, it immediately jumps from one size to the other. And the same happens when I move my mouse away. Jump, jump. So the transition will make it a smooth zoom in and zoom out. Go back into the style sheet. Now the transform property has been defined in the hover pseudo class. You might expect that that's where you would put the transition as well. But the normal practice is to put the transition in the rule that affects the normal state of the element. So I'm going to define the transition up here in this rule, which controls the images inside the images div. I'm going to use the transition shorthand. I want the transition to last half a second, so it'll be 0.5s. S is the unit of measurement for seconds in CSS. And like all units of measurement, there should be no gap between the number and the unit itself. And from the code hints, I'm going to pick ease in out as the transition timing function. And that's all I really need to do. I don't particularly want to delay the transition. And I want it to apply to all the elements within the style rule. And that's the default way in which transitions work. You only need to specify the property if it's only one property that you want to change. The CSS transitions are very new, so you need to use vendor-specific prefixes for the transition property. Uh, and you need to use it for all of the browsers. So that means I need to copy this transition rule and paste it four times. Then I'll make the first one hyphen moz for Firefox. Then hyphen ms for Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer doesn't support transitions until Internet Explorer 10. For Opera, it's O. And for Safari and Chrome, we need hyphen webkit. 
So let's just save that. Expand the page and toggle Live View on and off and let's see what the results are. In Live View it isn't a very smooth transition but you can see that the images are expanding and contracting over time rather than instantaneously. Let's just test that in a real browser to see what it looks like. So here it is in Firefox 4 and you can see the transition is now very smooth indeed. And let's just make one more check. This is in Safari and again a very smooth transition. So it's actually very simple to create smooth transitions, smooth animations using CSS transitions. Using CSS transitions allows you to achieve effects that were previously possible only with JavaScript or Flash, and used in moderation they can greatly enhance web pages, but I wouldn't go overboard and use them purely for the sake of doing so.